More than two months after rebels took control of northern Mali, their words are becoming more resolute. And Sardin, seen in the northeastern city of Gao, says its fighters are ready to die for their new state. I say it and I repeat it. All we want to do is live as good Muslims or to die as martyrs. With the secular Tuareg MNLA, they formed a northern union last month in an area the size of France. But now Ansardine is taking the lead, with better funds and strict religious beliefs. The 15-nation regional bloc ECOWAS says it will send 3,000 troops to help Mali reclaim the territory. But they've still set no timetable. Sources close to the group say it is being held back by financing and the lack of a clear mandate. Any planned military action is being met with defiance. I'm 100% convinced that the Malian army will never win over Ansardine. Never. We are waiting for ECOWAS to come, or France, or the US. We are prepared for all of this. But we have already sold our souls to Allah. It's nothing difficult for us. Niger's president has said Afghan and Pakistani groups are training recruits to send to the area. Locals say members of al-Qaeda in the Islamic Maghreb are increasingly appearing openly in major northern towns. Regional leaders are aware the unrest could spread. Reports say more residents are rejecting Ansardine's imposition of Sharia or Islamic law and the ongoing fighting. We have so many problems. Every morning we wake up with sound of gunfire over our heads. In the evening we go to bed with sound of gunfire over our heads. There are consequences, many consequences. It is estimated that more than 300,000 residents have fled since the region was seized. Those who remain face increasingly assertive rebels and an increasingly tumultuous future. Rodri Davis, Al Jazeera.